Hey there, what's going on, Pisces? How are you? My name is Antoine, and thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate you being here. We're going to go over your love energies for the beginning of December of 2022. So December 1st through 10th for Pisces, all placements of Pisces, including the lover of Pisces, if you're in the house. Okay. Thank you guys so much for your time. If I didn't say it already. And... Uh, Get a couple more shuffles for you, Pisces, and let's see what your energy is looking like. Energies for Pisces in love for the beginning of December of 2022. Okay. Elusive Pisces. All right. And then under the deck here, we have love grows. Mm, okay. We have love grows and then we have elusive. <clears throat> you know, I think that sometimes, you know, Pisces, we kind of surprisingly find ourselves connecting to people who, uh, I don't know, it's like, It, there's something there, but then there isn't, you know? Um, and then as soon as you realize that there isn't anything there, it's like then you begin to turn away and focus elsewhere. And then all of a sudden, then that's when all that attention drives back to you. And it's just like, whoa, it's just like, you know, we're, it's almost like you're playing a game of cat and mouse here. It's like you're, Mm. chasing something that um, kind of only wants you back when you're not paying them much in, much attention anymore. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but the fact of the matter, really, Pisces, is that, listen, honestly, they're really not even that much your type. There was something about them that attracted you to them or that grew on you with them. But... Um, you know, after enough times with that Pisces, I don't see you really caring much after, you know? It's just like, listen, look, I tried, okay? I really, you know, I mean, all you can do is, all you can do is try, but what can you do when, whenever you show interest, whenever you begin to try to settle down and grow roots with this person and show interest with this person, you know, now all of a sudden they want to act all unavailable. Hmm. But then... You know, but then when you match that energy, you know, now they're sweating you. And then when you return that energy, now it's like, it's like, then they go back to doing how they were, you know? It's like, shit is frustrating, Pisces. And it's like, I, I can feel that with this energy here. So, let's go ahead and see what else we got. Let's get one more shuffle. Okay, Pisces, we have the sun. Hmm, all right. The seven of pinnacle. The magician. Five of swords. And then the uh, queen of wands. So... You know, Pisces, it feels like, let me tell you something. I think to them, you may come off as this energy of like the queen of wands, right? Where it's just like, you know, you're the it girl or it guy, you know, gender doesn't matter. You know, you're the it person, you know what I'm saying? You're popular, you're well liked. And, um, and so it's like, they kind of like having that attention whenever you, whenever it's like, they almost kind of like being able to say, oh, well, you know, when Pisces was, when Pisces was wanting me, you know, I turned Pisces down or, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't sweating Pisces like that when Pisces wanted me. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like they want to be able to do that, you know, because it would be a good look for them. Um, 
that gets exposed quite early here coming up in this month. I, I feel like that. Uh, it feels like it feels like um, with the magician here, Pisces, I definitely feel like you are going to have a hand in um, kind of like just really telling telling this person where they showing this person really where they can go, how they can get there. All right. Um, I definitely feel like there's just a point where it's like enough is enough. OK, you see everything for what it is and then you are the one to like just shut it down. OK, you know what I'm saying? With the seven of pentacles there, it was like it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? It's just forget it. You know what I'm saying? Like forget having to do it doesn't even matter if this ends bitterly because at this point I'm just over it. It can just end however it ends as long as it ends. You know, finally, you understand? Because this whole seesaw thing is just, it's not, it's not it. It's not looking cute, Pisces. And like I said, you, 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 you're too, like you have, you, you, you are showing up as the queen of wands. So it's like you, you're too, you're too above that. You know what I'm saying? Like. I mean, nobody deserves that, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, like you specifically, Pisces, are showing up as the energy of like being popular or being well-liked or, you know, um, being, uh, you know, just kind of like that it person. So if, you know, this happening to you, it's like, it's kind of crazy how they did that. Like they used you to get popular off of you. Like, you know. Or they you you know what I'm saying or they you know it, they they realized that it was a good look for them even if they didn't do it intentionally in the beginning it's like at a certain point it's like they realized well what's a better look than being with Pisces oh well because of who Pisces is what's better than be, what's better than just being with them uh, having them want me and me being you know whatever. Strength card, Pisces. Death. High Priestess. Queen of Cups. Ooh. Hmm. And then under the deck, the Nine of Swords. Ooh, we. Pisces, this person might out not want to play with you. Because the thing is, is that they underestimate you. They think that you're just attractive. They think that you're just pretty. They, but they don't think that you're smart. That's the thing. Um, <laughs> but you are. You understand? You are. And I feel like there's a certain get back energy here. The Scorpio energy with the high priestess is like, uh, Pisces, you, you can be really, really patient when it comes to like taking your time to like maybe... I want to say, like, get back at this person, um, like, kind of spinning it around in a way to, like, it just, you know, you cut ties with this person, but it doesn't make you look bad, you know? You still end up being the one, you know, with the power and the control. Pisces, I'm quite interested to see what you have um, in that bag of tricks there, in that in that in that cup there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what type of tricks you have buried deep in there. I think that you have some things in there, maybe some secrets here that probably shouldn't get out, um, but you may have to end up using that to get out of this one, especially if this person feels like they're gonna be using you. You know, I mean, it sounds petty, but be sitting up crying and, and, and worrying about it and stressing about it, about somebody you wasn't even really feeling like that in the first place. You know what I mean? You was doing them a favor being with them and then they spun it around to come up off of you. You know that uh, y'all might be, I don't know whoever, I don't know who my audience is that I'm talking to, but y'all might be familiar with um, a movie. 
It's actually a remake of an old movie. It's called Love Don't Cost a Thing. It's a remake of Can't Buy Me Love. Uh, and in Love Don't Cost a Thing, what happened was, spoiler, um, you know, he basically, you know, paid the popular girl to be with him to make him look popular. But then he spun it around on her and dumped her. And in the process, it made him even more popular because it's like, you know, she had to sit there and eat it. But I feel like that could be what is happening here, Pisces. And I'm just letting you know. But y'all let me know what's going on in the comment box below because <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling at this point. Um, you guys take care. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And 